We're going to stay north of the town for our next visit. We've come to the village of Holywell to visit the fantastic racing lofts of Vincent and Robinson. Good evening, Barry and Ray. Good evening, Keith. Yes. What strains of pigeons do you race? We've got uh, mainly bush arts with some cornipers, odd Van Hee, and a few George Josephs. Yeah. What sort of distance do you start racing? Uh, the channel, we like the channel the best. We, we, we like competing in every race, but the channel is the main end. Yeah. What's one or two of your best positions? The best positions we've got in the uh, up north combine, the seventh couple of times. Uh, some of the notable ones are dropping three together from 420 mile in, in 46 seconds. Um, topping the section from Mellon with the Yearland, that's a distance of uh, 490 mile. And winning the Sealing Trophy in 1994 with a good hand, the Grand Hand. She flew exceptionally well that year. Yeah, what's the Sealing Trophy for? It's the uh, best pigeon in the north of England, the one that's put up the best performances. Yeah, that's quite some performance, isn't it? She is, yeah, she's a good pigeon. Congratulations. Cheers. This is the, the blue hen, known as the Grand Hen. She's the winner of the Sealing Trophy in 1994. She's uh, a bushyard cross with a George Joseph. So if you look at her pedigree, she's not exactly a pigeon to fly the channel. No. But she's uh, she's flown province and Chinois, which is uh, 500 mile to here, uh, 500 plus mile to here. Yeah, what system was she raced on, Ray? She's always been on the way. We fly the natural, so she's always been on natural system. What's her best nest condition? Uh, well, she's she's that good a hen. She'll come anyway. But our best is is sh sitting there, <laughs> chipping eggs or a, a seven day youngster. That's our best time she comes. What system you race your birds on? Uh, the natural system. We've, we've tried with the hood, but we like the natural system better. Yeah, because because of the channel. Yeah. When do you pair up? Uh, we, we, we split them up to pair them up. Uh, we split the times up. We pair some up in the beginning of February, and the main team for the channel is paired up in, uh, in the middle of March. Yeah, how many pairs have you got on natural? Uh, generally about 30, 35 to 40 pair. Yeah, how about training them? Uh, well, once the season's in, in swing, we, we train them uh, three times a week, every week. Yeah, uh, what's that down towards? Just a 15 mile toss but uh, every week they get that. Yeah, so you don't go too far training? No, no. These are a few of your natural birds in, right? How many natural sections have you got on your loft? We've got uh, five sections, all bird sections. Yeah. All natural. I noticed the floors on the old bird sections have got the slats. What's your idea of that? Well, I had an accident at work, so uh, it was to make life easier for me, that. Um, but having tried it, uh, we're impressed with it. I mean, they're just homemade ones, but it yeah. actually saves you a lot of work. I lift it twice uh, and every fortnight, and the loft is then sprayed. Yeah. Um, so how often do you clean it out? It, it's cleaned out every day, the boxes um, and the floors, and the lats are scraped, but the, uh, the book and lift them out, and that's done once a fortnight, and we then spray the underneath and put the lats back on. <sighs> How long have you two boys been in the sport? We've, we've been in partnership since 1975. We flew the first season together in 1976. Yeah. Have you always had the same pigeons? Well, we started off like, like most people with the Heinz's 57 varieties, and then we, we went and got the Bush Arts in 1977. Yeah, I'll tell you what, there's plenty in Bush Arts in the North East, isn't there? Oh, it's, I mean, they're the most consistent pigeons in, that, that try and test. And we've yeah. tried a lot of different breeds through the years, but the Bush Arts are still the pigeons. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, this is a blue pie cock, he's another bushyard cross with the Josephs. He has uh, eight club positions, seven fed positions and uh, six tank to tweed section turns, plus his 94th combine at the Folks and National. Uh, another consistent good pigeon. What is his best nest condition, Ray? Uh, he likes, he likes the looking at his hand when he's got a big youngster in the, in the pan. That's, he, that's when he's at his peak, that's yeah. his best. He looks a real racing machine, this one, doesn't he? Oh, he is, he's, he's a real good pigeon, this one. He's been a good pigeon ever since he was a young, but that one. These are a few babies, Ray. How did you breed each season to race? Uh, the last two years we've just bred like 60 youngsters. They look well. How far do you race them? Uh, well, I used to stop some of them that were fancy for the channel, but now I race them uh, right away though. They've got to land to the National, which is just short of 300 metres of the loft. 
Yeah, how far do you train them? Um, they get a, a lot of short tosses, like 15, 20 mil, and we try to give them one 30 or 40 mil before they have the first race, which is uh, 90 mil to the loft. Yeah. Do you stroll it all the time? Uh, it's the first year I've tried it in the whole of the young boat end. I tried it last year and half of it, and I was impressed with it. Yeah, I love it. I've tried it again. I think pigeons look great on straw, don't they? It, I, I'm very impressed with the youngsters this year on the, on the straw, and they settled it, they seem to be, be contented in the loft. So, how many stock birds do you keep, Ray? Uh, about 15 pairs of stock pigeons. Yeah, what families are they? Mainly bush arts with Sir Art Joseph, which we haven't got many left of them because they're you know, too old and they yeah. got rid of them. When do you pair them up? The stock pigeons are normally paired in, in January, the beginning of January. Yeah. When you go out getting stock birds, what do you look for? Well, obviously you want to look for a performance pigeon, uh, something that's got a a consistent breed that's, that's winning you know, uh, 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 all the distances, not just the, uh, the channels so we're looking for. Yeah, just good, good lines. Yeah, yeah. Alright Ray, thanks for letting me see your pigeon today, it's been a great honour. Right, thanks Keith, it's been a great uh, pleasure having you.